What is going on fellas and welcome back to another edition of our 1-2016 NCAA 14 5 year rebuilds. Boise is a 4 star, 77 overall, 81 offense, 76 defense. I did not get a chance to try out the new rosters so this will be the last year that I'm rocking out with these ones. Targets win per year is 10. Not even Bama would have that many target wins per year. All right, we got two freshmen here. That's good. Okay, I'm going to redshirt Jamani Brown here. Otherwise, he's going to leave that second to last season. We're going to have no free safeties. All right, we'll take this wide receiver tight end. Man, if they're a high 60, I'm definitely going to take it. Bill Brooks, quarterback. Ooh, this guy is a 71. Free safety athlete. Get this athlete as well. Anthony Noble. Watch these guys all go down to like 65, 66. There you go. John Griffin going down to a 61. First bust of the day. Justin Ridgeway. All right. He's an 81. My goodness. 97, 96. So normally you have like a 6, 7 target wins per year. We have a 10 target wins per year with Boise. And the only reason I say that is because we're taking on Washington straight out the gate. Ryan Walker. It's actually not a bad bonus, surprisingly. This first year, I think it's acceptable to take some of the lower overall guys. What's the bonus on this guy? 195? I could take that. We'll take Kurt McConnell too. We'll crack 150 in some of these lesser guys. See what happens. All right, that's our starting class. Let's lose to Washington because for some reason we have 10 expected wins. Yep, and look at that. I didn't realize these offensive linemen were Juco. That's my bad. Robert Johnson, the outside linebacker. Not bad, I guess. All right, defensive end, I'll take that. Defensive tackle, I'll take that. Oh, my board is full because the computer likes to add people. Cool. All right, well, I'm going to offer these guys scholarships because anybody who's interested in coming to the team, like without me having to do anything, is getting a fat scholarship straight away. Garth Bartlett, scholarship. Ooh, five-star quarterback, Jason Boyd. Is this going to be the type of guy to just back out, though? This is the number one ranked quarterback. He has 96 throw accuracy? As a freshman, though, he's got 86 speed, 87 excel, 96 throw power, 87 juke, though. I'm going to go Charles Bailey here with a 700 as well. Scholarship, no doubt. I'm going to go DT, and I'm going to go cornerback. See, this isn't going to get it done, man. We have targets win per year of 10. We're 1 in 2 already. That's too high, man. All right, Fresno wasn't too much of a problem. Bro, we losing to Utah. I'm getting real triggered real quickly here. Yikers. We got Marcus McIntyre and Bill Brooks. All right, Jason Boyd is in the bag. Robert Johnson looks like he's in the bag. I don't know why the 65 guard isn't interested. Brian Gross is going to come. Kyle Fine is going to come. Charles Bailey is going to come. Well, that's really good. I don't think we really need to do much else. Let's just get these visits in. There's nobody else I can really think of that I want. You know what? Landon Tyler, he's a 65 overall. I don't want that guy anymore. Um, I'm going to take a lot of points off this guy. So let's go find some more low locks. Ooh, four-star running back though. EJ Malloy. Why is he so slow? That's a problem. Imagine this guy was still low lock. Let's give both of these guys a scholarship. That's two defensive ends and a defensive tackle. Nice. All right, let's first Nevada. I don't know why they made us a four star and made the team so incredibly bad. Hey, we beat BYU, reverse psychology. Oh, look at this. Nice, Jason Boyd, the 81 overall quarterback. Mr. 96 throw power, 44 carrying himself. All right, we're three and six. So does that mean we're gonna get fired here? All right, we're not even less than 50%. Wow, they snuck back in for Brian Gross. All right, there goes Jason Boyd, though. We've got Marcus McIntyre. Uh, let's give Taylor Washington 700. EJ Malloy as maybe a backup running back. Wouldn't be too bad. We're a little bit far behind. All right, let's go to the end of the season. We are three and six. Okay, two-game win streak. The computer obviously dominated because they're meant to be a four-star program, but with these rosters, they're a little bit worse. So five and seven is what we finished, which is really bad. We're probably going to lose our coaches as well. All right, we're going to lose nothing too crazy, honestly. Our senior class is like 1, 2, 80 overalls there. We just signed a couple of 80 overalls. All right, transfer requests. Nobody's interested in coming. What a rip. Not bad. Strong safety, outside linebacker. You got the DT, the cornerback. All right, we got Robert Johnson, EJ Molo. That's perfect. Sign the top class in conference. Sign a top 10 class. As per usual, we have a really, really crap season. We go five and seven, but we signed the 10th best class in the nation. We do drop down to a three prestige from a four prestige. Got a five star, seven four stars, 10 three stars. 
That's really, really good. I mean, we got our quarterback of the future. We got so many good players. But watch us not even dominate. That's our freshman there. We also got Bill Brooks. So I'm going to redshirt both of these guys. Wide receive, I'm surprised. Normally we get a lot of wide receivers. Robert Johnson's going to start. Oh my goodness, we didn't even scout Brian Gross. He turns out to be an 80 overall. Hello? So we're going to have Brian Gross and Jamani Brown, our final season. Checking out training results. Rippian goes up to a 92, cornerbacks an 87. I don't think this is too important, really. The only players that matter are the ones that we just signed and the ones that were redshirted. Jamani Brown will be there for the entire thing, so that's good. Let's redshirt... Boyd and Brooks here. They can start. I'm not too fussed about that. We don't have any wide receivers. That's the problem. Jamani Brown. There we go. We're ready. Now we're a three star. So less people are going to be interested. We start off with Charles Timmon. He can squat as much as me. Free safety, I'll take that. I'm not going to take that center. Cornerback we could use. Nobody here is good. Okay, can I have a four star, please? I'm asking nicely. Give me a four star, please. All right, Victor Brooks, I guess we'll chuck him on. He's an athlete. I guess I'll put the free safety on. Another free safety, I'll put him on. I'll take all three of these cornerbacks. And then squat cheese. Let's get it. I'll take that. I don't want a Juco Jr. I'll take a Juco sophomore. Victor Brooks is amazing. He also has 93 elusiveness, 94 juke. Running back slash cornerback. With 97 speed, 96 excel. Oh, Kevin Holt's not bad. He's not bad. Oh, nice. We get Ole Miss. I love versing Ole Miss straight off the gate. Willie Jordan, I'll take that. I don't think I've ever wanted somebody as bad as I want Victor Brooks. Unbelievably good. Kevin Holt, not bad. We do need one more defensive tackle. Ooh, Corey Gibson, 250 bonus. All right, I can rock with that. 180 bonus, I'll take that. I mean, I guess we'll go both of these free safeties. I'll take this guy with a nice 600. Let's do this, boys. Yes, we beat Ole Miss. Take that. That's like one of the first times I've seen us lead in literally every category. No lead on Victor Brooks. Lead on him. So that means we can drop this down to like 350, 300 even, 250. I'm going to play it risky. Let's drop Travis King down as well. Uh, lead on Kevin Holt. He's a 74 overall, so I'm going to keep him on there. Oh, there we go. Ryan Kent. Look at this. So many talented wide receivers. Ryan Kent might be good. He might surprise a couple of people once he get out there on the field. He's trash, is he? Ryan Kent is a beast. Scott Ross, brother of John Ross. Yep, probably about the same overall too. Travis Long. He's now getting five points. 62 catching though. Okay, this guy's getting 700. A little bit of a weak class though, not gonna lie. I'm a little bit worried about these guys now. It's cool though. Yukon going down. Yes. All right, we did get Kevin Holt. It's not bad. There's a couple of people on here. I'll take John Gibson. Why not? 14% low lock. We got a four-star quarterback here, Kevin Porter. I feel like picking this guy up just in case the odd chance that our quarterback dips. Because you know quarterbacks like to dip on you like that. Let's go ahead and give the kicker like a scholarship and 220. We need wide receivers. We need them now. So John Gibson, get on the board. Everybody got a scholarship. Everybody got some points. Now let's do these visits. All right, we are four and crow. BYU is the better team. So we beat ULL pretty convincingly, Colorado State. We should win every single game here, but probably BYU. Well, nice. We went from four and oh to four and three. Like, do I need to put my fist through my TV screen? Oh, we actually won a game. Yes, we beat Nevada too. All right, we're six and three. That's, that's an improvement. That's an improvement. Let's see if we can find a low-key gem here. I'm looking for like a 70-something. That's a strong safety. I'll take that. Brandon Stephens, welcome to the squad. Got an athlete here who looks trash. But you know what? I turned trash into treasure. Okay, Brandon Stephens is a gem. That's amazing right there. Joe Williams is also a gem. And he's got a 94 return. I'll take both of these dudes. We got the kicker. We got Pat Britton. Got him. Got the wide receiver. I mean, we're chilling right now. Nobody's even going after these guys. That's like a GG. Hey, we're winning all these games. 8-3, and three, let's go. All right, so we don't play in the conference championship because Air Force probably above us. And look at that. If we had won that last game. Ooh, the Armed Forces Bowl. We're taking on Mid-Tennessee. All right, we won. All right, so we should go back up to a four star, if I'm not mistaken. So we went from five and seven to nine and four. We are on a positive record here, so we're all good. Players leaving, let's check this out. All right, Malloy is transferring to Fresno State. Bill Brooks, the backup, is going to be transferring. We're losing the running back and the quarterback. The good thing is we're not losing the good quarterback, though. You know what I mean? We got the positions we need, a DT wide receiver. Kevin Porter, we'll take him, why not, as a backup? I actually wanted the strong safety more. Sure. 
All right, Jordan McDubbs goes up. We get the kicker, strong safety, running back, and quarterback. We didn't sign a top 10, but we did sign a top 25. We also filled the team needs. A lot of new Boise Broncos. 24th in the nation, so I'm happy with that. We're back up to a four-star as well. Four training results, we're an 84 overall. Let's check out position changes. I like how this freshman kicker is the best player on the team. The quarterback, Jason Boyd, is going to take over. Running back, we have freshman Joe Williams, who's going to be redshirted. Wide receiver, Ryan Kent, not bad. We also have Octavius Evans. What a name, Octavius Evans. Our tight end must have left. Wow, so we need a tight end. DT, we're cool since we got Kevin Holt. Cornerback, we're really solid. Jamani Brown goes up to an 87. We're going to be good. We need to get offensive linemen, like, right now, though. Okay, I'm gonna go out of my way to change the schedule a little bit here. We can see like this is not what I like to see. Akron, get in there. Let's take on Ball State. Ball State's a really, really tough school. All right, Boyd's an 86 as a freshman. My boy. All right, free safety. We got a junior. We got this guy though, so it might be okay. All right, 70 overall DT. We no longer need DT. We need tight end offensive linemen. On defense, we literally are fine. Like we don't need anything. On the offense though, we have a running back. We have a fullback. We have receivers. Maybe one more would be we need a tight end and offensive lineman. That's me goal, mate. It's year three. I'm honestly just going to go straight for O-line. Uh, we might grab an outside linebacker. Why not? But I don't want Juco. I don't want to get a junior. I want somebody who can stick around for a little bit here. I'm going to be low lock cheesing it. All right, let's get center, guard, 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 guard. All right, I'll take three guards and a crow. 81 overall, I'll take that. John Jackson, he's a 79 overall. It's going to continuously go out and find gems here. Tyrone Carroll goes up 12 overall. That might be the biggest gem I've ever found. Okay, why are these offensive linemen not going up? I'm probably going to say we're a B plus at this point. It's only year three. All right, well, Tyrone Carroll is definitely getting 700 points straight out the gate. A 12 overall gem? I'll take Patrick Pino, why not? Take John Jackson, why not? Let's get Jason Davis, Scott Wilson. Let's get all the high 70 or mid 70 overall offensive linemen. Get rid of Mark Boyd here. We're going to give that to Richie Hagen instead. Scholarship for you. So we are a B plus, just like I thought. Boise in year three is an 88 overall. And we're only going to get better. Man, none of these offensive linemen want to come other than Ricky Hagen. Same as Mark Boyd. I don't even know where to begin with TJ Lewis. Five-star athlete Tony Allen. Is this it, really? Where are, like, the 70 overalls, man? All right, let me find somebody low lock here, please. He's a middle linebacker. There's a center. I'll take that. Stefan Wright. Another middle linebacker. Defensive end. Ooh, a guard. I'll take that. Damn, this guy is a beast. Why does nobody want Robert Kelly? Ooh, there we go. Right, that's what I'm looking for right there. That's perfect. Jason Bell, 16% lock on our offensive lineman. Tyrone Carroll, we can keep him. We can keep him. We can keep him. I'm getting rid of Scott Wilson. Ricky Hagen will keep him. Boyd will keep him. Let's drop some points off this guy right here. Jason Bell, 71 overall. Not the worst thing I've ever seen. Oh, Tony Allen. This guy looks like a freak, mate. Let's drop some points in him. Let's get Stefan right because we are in dire need of offensive linemen. I mean, why not give... Jason Bell, if he's a 71. And let's give Robert Kelly, since nobody's really going after him. And then Eugene as well. How do we lose to Ball State, though? Seriously. <laughs> what an absolute joke. Ah, oh, finally we get a win. All right, we pick up Patrick Pino, the 81 overall. We also get Ricky Hagen and Mark Boyd. They're not great, but we're only in year three. So they're going to go up maybe like eight overall. How are we three and four? We were leading for like a lot of people and then it just fell off. Let's definitely get rid of Stefan Wright here. We don't need him at all. This low low class is terrible. I mean, I'll take this running back, even though we don't really need it. Let's take Xavier Morgan, I guess. And we'll take a kicker. All right, Patrick Pino signs. We're good. I only signed three people, but the three people positions that we are desperately after get a kicker get this guy get this guy get this guy blah 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 blah, blah. all right we finished five and seven you're fired oh my goodness why do you have target wins per year at 10? That is some BS. So we just lost. We're fired. Let's get back into it. Sign contract. All right. Can anybody join the squad? Nobody's going to join. All right. We're going to go all out on Jason Davis. I'll put five on these chaps right here. They both got scholarships. We got what we needed. We got four offensive linemen and an 81 outside linebacker. So now it's a small chance, but the quarterback may have left. He's only a sophomore though. So let's hope he didn't. Sign a top 10 prospect. Yeah, that class is nothing though. Worthy. All right, the quarterback did not leave. Fantastic. Junior is fine because we're entering season four. We have a freshman regardless. Fullback is fine. Wide receiver, we have the juniors and Ryan Kent. Tight end, we got sophomore. 76, 76, 74, 89. 
Okay, cornerback, we got a junior, sophomore, sophomore. So we're cool there. We're gonna have 290 overalls. Free safety, a little bit questionable. As long as they don't leave, we're gonna be all right. We shall be fine. We also have Stefan Davis. Okay, he's gonna be leaving. The free safety's gonna be leaving. Jamani Brown's a 92, we're gonna have him. Jason Boyd goes up to a 90 overall, we're gonna have him. However, we do lose a lot of seniors. But we're gonna be good though. Brian Gross is gonna be a 90, we're gonna have a 90 there. It's gonna be better next year, that's the important thing. We have an 84, an 83, and an 80. So next year we'll have a 90 and 88. Oh, look at this. They gave us an F schedule. Shit, I'll take it. I'm not complaining. Alrighty. Not looking too bad. Let's redshirt him. Redshirt the freshman Jason Davis right there. Our D line is going to be scary good. Cornerback, we're going to have a 96, a 92, and a 90. We looking good. Obviously, since injuries are off now, recruiting... It means less than ever in season four, so we might as well just go for like five star people. If we do not sign anybody this season, it kind of doesn't even matter because everybody on the team is going to be over an 80 overall. Maybe like a backup running back or something like that, you know? A lot of quarterbacks. <laughs> Another one. That's three athlete quarterbacks in a row. Ian Butler, Nick Cook. B plus offense. Wow, our defense is actually our strong suit. Our defense is never our strong part. We even... Holy crap. 93 defense, 90 overall offense, and 91 overall to start out season four. Granted, we maintain our team. Nobody leaves, which nobody should, obviously. Wait, what happened here? Why are we only allowed to drop 500? Oh, are you kidding me? I don't have the 50 extra. Oh, dude. All right, we'll rip getting anybody this season. Andrew Harris. We're not going to be able to get anybody. This class is going to be so dead because we had to remake the coach. All right, and Ian Butler. Nice little dub against the Rajan Karjans. That was a big dub. So we're 6-0, but we're not ranked. I don't understand. We're dropping the fifth most points in the nation. Oh my goodness. What is with the low crows? All right, so at least the offensive coordinators aren't too bad. We didn't get anybody. I literally don't think we got one person in recruiting this year. Should have set it to automatic, honestly. Nine and three. Air Force is so annoying. Bro, New Mexico is 77 overall. <laughs> How are they even competing with us? All right, let's just get through this last season. We're playing Rice. We won 44 to 10 in the bowl game, so that's good. All right, so we won. We should be back up to a four prestige. We finished 10 and three as well. That's a pretty successful season. I would call that good. But checking it out, we went five and seven, nine and four, five and seven, 10 and three. So really, really up and down. I mean, this is the last season. We'll see what we can do. Players leaving us, check this out. Guarantee national title. So he's gonna stay. The left guard's going. We lost a lot of people, but we should be good though. It's easy, just guarantee him a natty and they're fine. If you are watching this on YouTube, let me tell you right now that the stream is lagging a little bit. The audio will be there and everything. If the screen's a bit choppy, please forgive me. The internet just doesn't want to be my friend today and help me out. But anyway, checking out the training results going into season five, the simulation season. Our quarterback will be a 97 overall, cornerback a 95. Our other cornerbacks are 92, left end is a 92, right end's a 92. We are in the Mountain West. Our best wide receiver has 99 excel 99 speed we have two middle linebackers that are 88 they're gonna get changed around our starting running back is 88 the team is incredibly stacked definitely not the best that we've ever had but it doesn't get much better than this a quarterback has 99 throw accuracy that's what's up he's not missing many passes all right we're resetting the skill tree now unfortunately because we did get fired we are only level 17 that means for this rebuild unfortunately we do not have gang signs at all our offensive coordinator and defensive coordinator are are only level eight, which isn't good for us. All right, so because it is the last year, we do not need to worry about recruiting. Let's go put this automatic. Let's design our schedule, fellas. All right, what do you think of this schedule? We got Troy, Washington State, Virginia, who was ranked, Air Force, who we always lose to, Utah State, Western Michigan, and then the rest. We have an A overall with a B plus offense and an A plus defense. I've never had the defense be the better, which is kind of cool. So we get a good chance of that. 95 overall team, 91 offense, 97 defense. That defense is stacked. Checking out the final team, our quarterback will be Jason Boyd, 97 overall. Running back will be an 88, backed up by Joe Williams, 84. Fullback will be a 79. Wide receivers, 89, 87, 86. So we have a nice little trio right there, all very solid. Tight end's going to be an 83. Left tackle, 78, 83, 81. Hello, 44? You kidding me, mate? Sorry about that. We do have a 80 overall right guard now, and our right tackle is 82 overall. 
92 left end, 92 right end, 91 and 84 on the D-line. 91, I mean, they're not wrong. The defense is absolutely stacked. 95, 92, 81. 84 free safety, 87 strong safety. Not the best it could be, but it's very, very solid. We got the best team we possibly could. We're probably going to lose, but hopefully we don't. So let's check this out. Straight away we lose to Maryland, man. He saw that we had a better team than Maryland as well, and we still lost. Come on, man. Nice. Washington State is a dub. The dream is still alive, boys. The dream is still alive. Maybe it won't be a natty, but we'll see. Oh, shit. 52 to 21 against ranked Virginia. See, that's what should be happening every game, man. Woo. That's close, but I'll take it. Oh, we won again. So what are we now? We're, what, like four and one, three and one? Oh, we're rank 11. And San Diego State is ranked 15, though. Here we go. We're at the midway point of the season. We're 6 and 1, rank 11. SDSU is 6 and 1 as well. That's crazy. Oh, we beat the crap out of SDSU, bro. SDSU is ranked 16th. We just beat the crap out of them, mate. Oh, no. This is it. This is the week right here. It's like, if we lose to UNM, someone is really messed up. Let's go. We got to be ranked pretty high now. Rank 7. All right, well, this is it, fellas. We're 9-1 right now, 7th in the nation. We got Nevada, Fresno, and then a bye week. We only have two more games. I don't know if that's going to be enough. We got to win 45-7. to seven. All right, we got one more. This is the last game. Ooh, 49-10. Bro, how are we not going to be, like, really highly ranked? We literally have slaughtered everybody this game. 10 consecutive wins. We got a finalist for pretty much every award. We're rank four in the nation. All right, so here's here's what's going on right now. We're rank four on 11-1 record. We versus San Diego State. We beat San Diego State earlier in the year, like 41 to seven or something. So here's our schedule. We lost. All the Terps are ranked two in the nation. We're better than them. There's the game against San Diego. We beat them 41 to 17. Now we have to take them on again. This is interesting right here. So let's go look at the top 25. What's going on? Ohio State, Maryland, and Texas. We need Virginia Tech and Illinois to win, which doesn't look very good. We are taking on a ranked opponent, so I'm guessing we should be able to jump. They're saying we're going to be in the Orange Bowl. Imagine that. We're going to be taking on Washington. We won the Chuck Ben Derrick. We won the Bolitnikov. We won the Jim Thorpe. I mean, we're going to win everything, realistically. All right, so checking it out. Jason Boyd had a 156.9 passer rating, 3,310 yards, 38 touchdowns, 10 picks. Really surprised that he didn't play better than that, considering he's a 99 overall. 930 by Beasley. Joe Williams had 649. Nothing too crazy on the running end. Receiving those CT Thomas. 1,318 touchdowns. Bruh, CT Thomas dominated. Ryan Kent, the wide receiver, 663. Octavius Evans balling out. That's really, really good to see that. He played so well, man. Jason Davis let in a lot of sacks, but John Ojukwu, whatever, 32 and 4. Tackles Robert Johnson, 91. This is undoubtedly the best defense we've ever had. Five people in double digits for TFLs. Six and a half for Charles Bailey. Let's go ahead and see what happens in this last game. We finished ranked 11th on an 11-2 record. We're playing in the Mako Bowl. We win 42-20 against Washington. Explain to me how we lose to San Diego State. And then we beat Washington, who is clearly a better team, man. The good news for us is it wouldn't have mattered because Maryland and Ohio State both won their games. That's just the way it goes sometimes. So that being said, fellas, if you're watching this on YouTube, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, man. If you did make it this far into the video, you are the real MVP. Hope the rest of your day is awesome. And from me personally, I'm out. Peace. Tell me pretty lies. Look me in the face. Tell me that you love me. Even if it's fake. Cause I don't fucking care. At all. You've been out all night. I don't know where you've been. You're slurring all your words. Now